Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Rise of the Rookie. Today we have got the German Grand Prix coming up for you. We are um, currently 8th in the uh, driver standings. You may remember from last episode that we got promoted to equal status with our teammate. So uh, let's move on. So we have made it into Q3, so we have beaten our finish top or above, starting our fastest lap now, putting it a bit short like always, with three minutes to go in the session, but that is to try and get the uh, the best grip conditions and an empty track to myself before um, the rest of the cars come out. Currently set the fastest first up today, three tenths faster than Jensen Button, but we were running a bit more of a downforcey setup this race, which um, meant that the gearing down that very long straight was a bit too short. So we are probably going to be weak down that back straight um, when it comes to the race, um, but it is what it is, unfortunately. I cannot change the setup. Because obviously it's locked as soon as you come out of the garage in qualifying one. But we are still just about up. So we've just got this final sector to go. Which I'm hoping, uh, because we've got a bit more of a downforce to set up on, that uh, we should be able to ace. Um, uh, just one more corner to go there. Been a little bit scrappy that in the last two corners have been. Just, um, Cross the line, and uh, no, we are still 10th, so we lost loads of time in that last sector apparently, um, behind both of the Saubers, uh, by a little bit, but we're still happy because we finished 12th or above, so, well, we kept 10th, which is good. Make sure you subscribe to get those lights on. So here we are then for the start of the German Grand Prix. Teammate Malnado is behind us, but we should swiftly leave him where he is because we're going to use a little bit of our curse and straight up into Rich Mix. So we've got to pass the salvage straight away. Get up into sick. Let's try and make up some more positions. <coughs> pass Weber and pass Alonso. Well, Alonso's gone back around the outside, but. We went a bit deep, so we've got that mission back. So we're into P4. Um, but, like I said in qualifying, the setup we chose was completely wrong for this race, I think. So, um, we are going to struggle when it comes to the uh, back straight. And especially when DRS gets enabled, because they're going to fly past us. Um, but for now, Oh, we round lap one. Everything seems to be okay. We've got Mr. Lewis Hamilton ahead of us. With Seb and Jensen ahead. So, that is currently the podium. But uh, we are struggling again with Fernando's quarters and he's already trying to get by us and we haven't even finished our lap yet. Uh, so, 17 laps around Hockenheim. Which we are about to complete. Uh, where's the line? There it is. Uh, one lap completed. Move on to some more action as I lap two, which we were on already. Just on the back straight, you can see we've got Alonso down who's trying to get by us. He's got the. Uh, he's got in our slipstream. We used a bit of our curves, but already in the slipstream he was a lot faster than us. So way too DRS, so we're not going to have a standard chance. Lap 3, DRS is enabled, we are uh, crashing to the side of Alonso there because uh, we just did, but we're going to try and go around his outside again, 
but obviously we've got to push wide because there's the line that we came on into the corner. But now Mark Webber fancies our chance against us. Um, he's probably going to breeze by us again when it comes to DRX. So here we are. You can see the uh, cars ahead are pulling away. Uh, Fernando got away so much that he's actually had to smash in battle now on lap number seven. So Mark took a little bit longer to get past us again. He's using DRS, we've used all of our curves. Can we get by him again? Yes we are, we're going to just poke it down the inside. We've got past Mark Webber again. But you can see all the cars on the uh, mini-map are still very close to each other. So I do imagine we are going to be falling down the order a bit. Uh, but here we are, this is our pit stop lap, end of lap number 7, so we are in for our stop. So are some of the other cars ahead of us, but I think they should get back out ahead of us. No, I well, know they've been made to wait, but they'll be out behind us. Some of the other cars around, well, that were behind us are coming in as well, so they're having their pit stops done. So it's interesting to see where we come out. We have come out. Is that Sebastian Vettel just in front of us? So he lost loads of time in the pit stop. And now uh, I kind of fancy our chances of getting past him now, actually, Seb. Because uh, with these back markers and stuff, I might get DRS off of them. Let's have a look. Yes, I do. I get DRS off from Aaron Vern. Even with DRS. And I can't catch him up. He's pulling away from me. So yeah, definitely went the wrong way with the setup. Um, down the inside of one, bashing to number two, but we've got past Seb, a little bit dirty, wheel to wheel contract there, could have had to give ourselves a puncher, but um, realistically, I probably shouldn't have fight, uh, had a, uh, probably shouldn't have attempted the overtake on him, because this was just going to happen anyway, we are just going to fly by us with DRS, I was trying to get right in the slipstream there, that's why it looked like I was trying to take him out, but I wasn't, I was just trying to get right in the slipstream to try and help us pull us along a little bit um, we've got a little bit of a gap to Mark Webber behind now so hopefully we can use Sam to at least pull us around for a little bit longer Ooh, thought we were going to go for a move there but we didn't so we're still beating the objective that was set for us anyway which was to finish 8 or above so here comes Grosjean he's just crashed into our rear wheel but here's Bojan Wall pushing towards the end of the track. Whoa, what is he doing there? Yeah, look at that absolute tank slapper on then. Absolutely crazy from Roman Bojan on lap number 15. So, will he attempt to go past us again in the next couple of laps? Uh, I don't think he will, but it's actually raining now in the last lap. I think because of Bojan's front wing damaged, um, he unfortunately dropped behind us. Oh. Press just lost his front wing on us now as well, but we've actually run out of fuel on the last lap in the rain at Germany. Just luckily we've got one more corner to go, but uh, yeah. On the last lap we've run out of fuel, but uh, it's going to be a drag race to the line, even though I'm not really drag racing, I'm just limping. But we did beat both of the Saubers and Roman Grosjean to manage to finish fifth. Um, so, another decent result for us. Uh, a little bit spicy at the end there when it came to the fuel Congratulations, but place. yeah it wasn't that bad another good a good race from Sergio Perez there who came from ninth who won a place ahead of us Fernando who came second started in fifth so that's all right race from Fernando but both Sauber's in the points where the teammate finished he finished in 12th so maybe some improvement needs to happen from Pasta but uh, the car wasn't that bad, so I'm not sure why he wasn't in the points. If I could do it and I had completely the wrong setup on, I'm not sure why he could. Yep, everyone's happy that uh, more points aren't in the bag for us in P5 for Williams. Thinking of next year, a source close to Formula 1 driver. Max Hoss suggested the, that he is already thinking of next year's drive. Uh, yeah, I suppose you have to. Because <laughs> if you're not thinking about where you're going to be driving next year, where are you going to be driving at all? 
Um, so yeah, that is kind of correct. I wonder when we get the opportunity to start getting contracts from teams and stuff. Um, because obviously in the new Formula 1 games you can change halfway through the season. I wonder if that was introduced in these games. Because it would be quite cool to go to a different team halfway through the season. I'm not going to lie. So we've got some emails. Oh, we've got a contract. Oh, talking of contract offers, we've got one from Sauber. Uh, who actually had a good race last race. Both cars in the points. Uh, I'm pretty sure we are beating them in the championship. But overall, I'm sure the Sauber is a better car. Uh, even though in real life, obviously... Williams got the win, but I'm pretty sure in 2012 Sauber was the better car, so I'm going to do it. I'm going to accept it. We're moving teams, everybody. We're going to go to Sauber F1 team. So there we go. We are now with a new team. I bet you weren't expecting that. Uh, at the start of this episode because I definitely wasn't um, so yeah we are now with Salva and our teammate is Kumumi Kobayashi he's down in 16th so Kumumi could do with some improving um, obviously we got Williams up to 4th along with Pasta but if you are looking forward to the next episode with Salva make sure you subscribe I'll see you guys later goodbye <laughs>